Friends, welcome to worship. We gather from far and wide and name ourselves the First Presbyterian Church of San Bernardino and friends. How grateful we are for the ability to gather in Jesus' name, to rejoice and give thanks, to consider and to pray. Following worship today, we will have our annual congregational meeting. So if you are a member of this community, I hope you will stick around. There are two brief things for you to vote on. One is the election of new officers to fill spots in our leadership councils. And the second is to approve the pastor's terms of call. And we need to make an adjustment to those. So that's coming before you, even though you voted on that in November. Friends, having said all those things, let us take a deep breath. Let us seek God who is seeking us, and let us rejoice in the prelude. let us call one another to worship. Listen to the stories of God passed down by the faithful from age to age. Listen to the Son of God teaching us how to live, love, and serve. Listen to the voice of God Proclaiming the world beloved. Listen and worship, people of God. For God is among us. Thank you. 
Good morning. The scripture this morning is from Isaiah chapter 40, verses 27 through 31. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. This is the word of faith that we proclaim. Thanks be to God. It is okay to be weary. And it is okay to fly high and it is okay to simply put one foot in front of another. We who wait on God who wait for numbers to drop or vaccines to take hold, who wait for a day that we can gather in person again. We who wait for God and who wait for a word that will give us courage to move forward, who wait for direction about how to proceed. We who wait know that God is in the business of renewal. God is in the business of renewing all creation, including us. It is our custom every year on this Sunday of our annual meeting to spend some time during that meeting highlighting what we have noticed in the annual report that gives us courage and hope, evidence of the fruits of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control, and that's hard to do on Zoom. So I thought I'd reflect on our annual report as our sermon today, as a way of pointing to where the word is being made flesh. Some of you may know that there is a computer bot that has been designed that scans the daily newspapers for unintentional haiku poems. With that as an inspiration, I decided to scan the newsletter and read you a series of things that are almost poetry to me for you to listen for a word from God for you. A year of challenges and opportunities scarcity and abundance, isolation and community. Our church never closed. We were moved to follow God's call for our beloved community in unexpected ways. The camaraderie we share, a commitment to social justice. Interns completed work that allowed high-risk members to keep safe. Gathering folks on Zoom has kind of been a highlight Sally Earp made art projects for Easter, Mother's Day, Pentecost. Realize how important communication is. New recording equipment with support from Presbytery. Butterfly Mobile 
by Abby Willis. Vandalism, broken gate, leaking faucet, creaky ice machine, all repaired. New choir lighting, new fencing, clean carpets, a green waste bin, new outdoor lighting, security doors. Ray Oliveras, our videographer. Advent candles, longest night service. Someone zoomed into adult ed from a hospital room. Interns successfully completed apps for jobs college and scholarships, then helped other interns do the same. Steve Smith has been an anchor. Rick Rodriguez lives upstairs. Our beloved Lynette is moving. Note writing and the power of music Threshold farewell, mindful photography, one day retreat. A three night trip to Big Bear, seeing snow for the first time. A strong sense of koinonia. Reroofing projects and rain gutters. Jeff Gaines, Sharon Edwards, Scott Quinn, Aaron Weens, Craig Koklo, Christy Van Nostren, Alexia, Lily, Amy, Matthew, John, Maggie, Christian, Dawn, Shannon. We missed being able to sit and talk with the guys while serving dinner. New officers were elected. When asked, you responded. Hygiene kits, house of welcome, blood drive. Food distribution completely reimagined. Salary support for teachers of special needs children. 3,920 bags of food. Behind the scenes, acts of kindness. Handmade cards for homebound members. Support for Red Cross, Life Skills, our child care center. Thank you, Wendy. We are all very grateful for the loving work you do. Presbytery of Riverside, Claremont Press, Lifestream Blood Bank. Everything that happens on a pilgrimage is part of the gift. Looking forward with great anticipation to in-person worship. If you don't know where those quotes names or snippets came from, take time with your electronic or your paper annual report and notice where in spite of all that has constrained us, the Holy Spirit has gotten things done within us and between us and because of us. 
Early Christians lived in troubled times, my friends, but they weren't defined by trouble. They lived as people of possibility whose faith had been transformed by resurrection. They were people of hope. And so are we, people of stubborn hope. This church is a place of deep belonging, knowing each other's names and stories, journeying together through joy and through sorrow. The Holy Spirit is inviting us to change and to grow and to discover the future together, following Jesus, seeing needs, discovering gifts to share. One more poem. I always feel safe here. This place has taught me so much. This is my second home. We wait upon our God and we see those promises are true. We will mount up with wings like eagles. We will run and not be weary. We will walk and not faint, for God is in the renewal business. Certainly God is present with us, one of you said, holding our hands and loving us like never before. Friends, let us continue to be God's people, to wait on that spirit to ride the wind that bears us up, to run when we have the strength and passion to do so, or just to put one foot in front of the other and to walk, knowing we will be caught. We will not faint. For the God in whom we have placed our trust is faithful. Amen? Amen. We turn now to celebrate communion. If you have not equipped yourself with a small glass of something to sip and a small piece of something to break and taste, you might wish to do that now. I will speak the words of institution. Steve and I will do the liturgy together. And at one point we will say to you, that it's time to receive. We know that though we are distant, we are knit together as a family. We belong to one another. We are one body. We eat and drink knowing that the very life of Jesus lives inside us. Bread for the journey a cup for joy. Friends, this, distanced as we are, this is the joyful feast of the people of God and people will come from east and west and north and south and sit at table in God's kingdom. Our savior invites all who trust in him to share in this feast, which he has prepared. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Blessed are you, strong and faithful God. All your works, the heights and depths, echo the silent music of your praise. In the beginning, your word summoned light. Night withdrew and creation dawned. When the earth had grown full in abundance, you created in your image man and woman. You gave us breath and speech. 
that all the living might find a voice to sing your praise. So now we declare the ageless hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We continue in prayer. Christ healed the sick, though he himself would suffer. Christ offered life, though death would hunt him down. But with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms and surrendered his spirit. It is in this mystery of communion with Christ that we pray for the church throughout the world. We pray for the sick, the bereaved, the oppressed, and the homeless. We pray for the torn fabric of the earth as it yearns for healing. We pray for people dear to us who dwell in our hearts. We remember those of our community in need of your care. And we share the prayer that Jesus taught his friends saying, our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. In all the places that we are, dispersed but one body nevertheless, breathe your spirit upon us, gracious God, and upon the bread and cup, that they may renew us and make us whole, that we may be your body on earth, loving and caring in the world. On the night before he died, our Lord Jesus took bread and after giving thanks to God, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this, remember me. And in the same manner after supper, Jesus took the cup, saying, this cup is the new covenant. Sealed in my love, poured out for you for the forgiveness of sin. Drink of it, all of you. For whenever you eat this bread or drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until we feast with him in glory. Friends, look, here is your Lord coming to you in bread and cup. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Let us in our many places receive the gifts of God, the bread of heaven and the cup of blessing.
as we have been fed at this table, let us go to feed the hungry. As we have been set free, let us go to set free the imprisoned. As we have received, let us give. As we have heard, let us proclaim. Amen. And so friends, I charge you to go in peace and be the body of Christ. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the friendship of God's own spirit descend upon you and those whom you love and dwell with you today and always. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve our God. <laughs>